Greetings, it's Vagram. Welcome to a Monday episode of Vagram's Chance. And I find myself back in the starting valley. We made our first tree platform just down there. Wandered over here and found this little nook. Now, I camped specifically here and made this house here because of this ravine. It made mining at lower levels a lot easier. Hello, Mr. Chicken. And, yeah, we lit it up. We gradually took it over. Then we started making our own mines. Then we went on to automation. We've delved into farming, harvest craft, witchery. We've gotten into Thaumcraft, we've gotten into mob farms. This thing still serves me really well. Uh, you can tell that I do not I run it a ton because most of these are just over a stack of all these different kinds of aspects. I meant to go put signs on these. I really need to come back and put signs on all of them. But uh, Most of this is overgrown and mossy now because I don't use it very much. But if you get up here on the roof and a little bit of a peek... You can see the farmhouse right up there in the distance, the farthest end on that corner of the build. You can see the uh, platform, the gun pla the defense platform, our air defense platform, very fun project. And right there, there's a little thing peeking through, one of the castle towers. Um, yeah, I love being able to come up and just see that hanging in the sky menacingly. I still need to finish the other gun on that. I haven't gotten around to doing it yet. I'm going to point it off going that way. I think that'll look good. Um, blood magic. Thaumcraft. Oh, gosh. Let's see. Erebus. Um, the deep dark where we started mining. There's Erebus right there. Refined relocation. Then we come to the gatehouse. The start of the city itself. There's Ace5852. Greylock and... Vexitos is up there. Way up here in the top of the gray of the tower. We've actually got Razzleberry Fox. We've got Frontier, one of my viewers, that actually pitched the name Volantera for the actual city itself, and I like it. Rorax, my buddy, my building buddy. Um there's Zawfor, one of our friends that we've lost in this journey. Professor Mobius having an argument of some kind with uh Telnia. Wrenches are involved, apparently. Uh yeah. Then the workshop. This was really the second big building that I did after my house. This was the third, which ex eventually expanded off into the storage tower, the silo. We've got the mage's tower. That was the next big thing. Then we expanded onto a new island with the market, so I could actually start building little shops that I still need to populate with people. And that will come towards the end. We'll actually start filling the city with folks. And see what we can do. Our carpet, our flying carpet shop. Still has no, no shopkeeper. Um, we've got a tavern with no bartender. Duh, what is it? Is it? Nope, can't remember what it is. Actually, let's sleep real quick. Anyway. We have grown and expanded so much. Uh, over the course of things. Do I have to take these off? I do. Uh, it's that s when you have a only a two-step gap, you can't step up into it using step assist. Uh, bartender. We have no bartender here. We need one. Might put High Yorkie or Rune Wolf in here. I don't know. We'll see. High Yorkie, I think, would be a really good bartender. Um, yeah. Let's put our pants and shoes back on. The Alchemist Shop. I still have put a back door on there. I've got little knickknacks hidden all over the place. Nice stair, spiral staircase that winds up to the second floor. Nice four-poster bed. The canopy bed. I really like that thing. Oh, gosh. So many different little projects. And, of course, we've got... Once we built this island... We've got just below it the sewers. You know what I'm gonna do? To hack with frame rate. I'm actually going to let the sickly green sewer waters flow. 
Let's go way down here. And, ah, uh, here's the sewer crew. Yes. Teddy here. And the only Bentley. Um, I should have some of this stuff coming down right there-ish. But more importantly, and there's that step assist again. There we go. Um, our black market, which we still have some open stalls on. We still need to get some more vendors. We've actually got Joe Gaming selling some magical tools. We've actually got uh, Corianche down here selling creeper goods. Uh, and we have some open stalls that we really need to fill in with some people. Uh, of course, our black market bank and the bouncers, the bank guards. I like those guys. Whoa. A little sensitive there on the uh, panels. So, we then started expanding from there down into the slums that's been taken over by our slum residents, the Berglings. Hello, Bergcraft. Um, the slums are a really... Uh, I'm kind of happy for this achievement, you know? they. I really think it worked out pretty well. I think I have the lights on. I can't remember, though. This is all dark glass. Or no, this is quite clear glass. I keep meaning to put dark glass in it, but I really do want it to look kind of seamless. I don't want it to actually have, you know. If I look from here, I cannot tell that there's glass seam. I can only really start to see it over here. That ritual is running. But... Ten million. So that's not doing anything, really. Got to figure out why. Let's turn this off. Yeah, these lights do not lose power. Very well. I cannot control the lighting up here. Uh, I meant to change it to edge lighting. There we go. Much better. Let's put those away. Put that away. From the slums, we went to the mansion, which I still have not finished. That is on the agenda. And the farmer's house. Then we expanded off into this. Yes. I have actually finished the outer walls. All of the parapets are done. All of the tower trim is done. The roofs are done. Roofs, 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 roofs. Let's go with roofs. The roofs are done. And, yeah, it's pretty much where I want it to be. Come down here to the beginning of our pathway. And we've actually got this courtyard over here. I'm thinking... Putting some benches right here and right here, facing in towards maybe a fountain of some kind. Uh, let's see. This is the part where I don't know what to do. I think I want to get some path stones and some dirt and make a kind of a path stone. Not a like a full cobblestone tiled pathway, but like a little dirt kind of garden tiles. Going around here, I think that could be cool. Maybe put um, some greenery right here and some flowers planted along this outer edge so we can kind of come out in a half circle like that and then we can have the path kind of go up to dead end into the plants and bushes and we can go around with some path stones. But we actually have a straight path, not a curved one. Yes, I did that intentionally. Yes, it's going to bug some people. Sorry. Um... 
But yeah, in general, things are really coming along. We've got a full wall that we can actually go all the way around on. I did have to make a change. Yeah, see, full block step up is fine with limited height. But if it's a half slab, it really confuses it. Um, We've got a full wall that we can patrol around. I finished all the parapets and embankments and everything. Um, the windows are done, pretty much. I think I spotted one earlier that I need to go finish, but for the most part, everything is finished. On the outer wall. So the next step's gonna be... Finishing the castle. And that is not going to be any small feat. See, here we are in the back wall, facing away from the city itself. And we have a great view of the rest of the valley around us. I really have loved building this sky, this sky city, but there have been so many things I have learned that uh, so many complicate... Wow, that tree is close. That tree ended up being bigger than I thought it was going to be. That is a plush-shaped kind of a, you know, 3 by 3 plush-shaped kind of a tree trunk. I tried to get the same kind of thing to grow over here, but I couldn't. I only get these little wee small ones, and I don't know why. Uh, but every time I grow a big one here, I mean, I grow one here, it is just huge. I'm curious. Let me see if I can get something a little bit more. Actually, let me get that. Get this. I'm going to do... And there is one right in the middle that didn't grow. If I do that... Instagram. Okay. So much cypress wood. Uh, it's a lot better. It doesn't touch the actual wall. Then what I want to do is just trim that so you can walk under it. This one's the same way so I can walk under it. Yeah. Okay. That's better. It doesn't connect directly with the wall. I didn't want that. So, yeah, we actually have a lot of progress that we've made, and I really feel good about it. And I just kind of wanted to reminisce this episode. I wanted to talk about our path forward. Um, today, I'm actually going to be finally sitting down. I talked about this several times, but I'm actually doing it today. Uh, because I think every bug that I can think of and every little hiccup is ironed out that I can iron out. And there's going to be unforeseen problems. But going from the to the next pack version, 1.08... There's a lot of things I can't do with this build until I get that pack update. For ex for example, um, there are some updates to RF tools that I want to put in place that I don't have yet. and Or I don't have access to yet. And uh, that's, that's important to me. Very, very important. So, I can get... I can get some changes to the towers and some improvements to things once I actually have the next version of RF tools in the pack update. There are improvements to Ender IO, um, additions to Project E, all sorts of stuff that I want to get that I cannot make headway with until that pack update. So I'm in a position where I'm forced to do that, and that's fine. I need to do it. I have been so busy as of late. I keep getting sidetracked by one thing or another. Um... One of those one things is called Warframe. I won't go into that. That's another story entirely. Ah, uh, yes. So, I just wanted to share. I wanted to rebel in our accomplishments. This gets fixed in the next version of RF that we're going to be updating to, apparently. Uh, yeah, apparently this actually gets corrected. This little rendering bug I'm pointing at right now. So that's one thing I'm very, very eager to get corrected because you can see right now you can see the path stones and the real bricks and stuff oh, and then you get close to it and it pops right into place but uh, it's not a big deal it's a minor little rendering bug but apparently McJitty actually fixed it and I cannot wait for that to be corrected uh, the castle is coming along very well I have not actually done a lot over here because I was so concentrating on it is dark again. Oh my gosh. Hang on a sec. Let's sleep again. In the castle, I have come to the acceptance that there is going to be a lot of wasted space. 
because I don't want to just press it right up against and have, you know, weird sloped floors, stairs where there aren't supposed to be any and stuff like that. I think there's just going to be a lot of wasted space in between the walls. And I'm okay with that because it's going to make it look like a better build. Um, like we're going to have some wasted space right here. Because I'm going to curve this hallway out and around. I do not want it coming over here. I might do a diagonal kind of a wall. Maybe. Solid wall and then dot 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 a couple of diagonals. But for the most part, there's going to be some solid block there that's just kind of wasted space. And it's one of those things. Um, I'm not going to have this all be open space down here. I'm going to first pave down under, I mean, uh, put a roof under this. And then I'm going to box this in down here. So there's going to be space down here that's going to be like pantry and little like servant quarter bedrooms that are going to be cramped. But they're going to be sectioned off a little bit. And even those are going to be not going to be using all of this space back here. So I will fill it in with solid block and make sure that nothing spawns back there. Um, we'll probably have some dead space here that will fill up a solid block right in this corner. Same as the other side. And um, yeah, in general, uh, I'm very pleased with the progress the build has had. I put a wireless charger over here specifically because, oh, wait a minute. I was actually doing so much building over here that a lot of my tools would actually get real low on power. Um, I really love this entrance. The paintings on either side, the chandelier. I do think I'm going to switch to an iron chandelier, though. Uh, yes, it would look less fancy, but it would contrast better against that trim. Right now, that disappears into that for me because they're very similar tones. So I'm thinking... Um, about getting the iron one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, crystal. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Let's go with crystal. Uh. Yeah. That looks a lot nicer. It pops. You got the semi-transparent glass uh, crystal, quote unquote. You've got the uh, darker, the different tone of iron for me. It comes off a lot better. I see it contrast a lot better against the actual uh, gold background behind it. It's more complex. Yeah, I like that. It's cool. It's a lot better looking. I like it. It pops, to quote some relatives of mine. Um... But yeah, I think this is coming a long way. It's really, I didn't think I'd ever be able to see this far along in the project. I figured something would have gone wrong. You have to remember my track record. Vagrant Chance Season 1 died an early death. I never got to finish the world that I really wanted to finish in Season 1 because of complications in the pack. I ran across a world-ending bug that just basically wouldn't let me recover. And it had been brewing long enough that I couldn't go to a backup unless I wanted to lose months of work. So it really was kind of a catch-22. And, uh, yeah, it's been fun, though. It's been a lot of fun. I cannot wait to see this really polished out and finished. This is going to be, by the way, this is not the floor level for the throne room. I've just determined that I'm just going to make the castle building itself, the main castle, this part, two floors, not three. And then I'm going to put the roof and then put a little bump up. It's going to be a tower and the private quarters and stuff for the king is going to be in the actual tower itself. Then we can actually get some, maybe some viewers or some channel subscribers, get some of their names and start dotting them around the castle as guards in guard uniforms. We can start putting people in the tower, I mean in the castle as um, guards, as attendants in the actual or, I mean, uh, librarians in the actual study over here. Or uh, all sorts of stuff, you know. We can start adding people to the shops once this all gets polished out. But the last several episodes, I expect, is just going to be populating the city. I do like how this came out. Some people might not like it. I do wish this was solid, connected textures, but I realize that's asking a lot. And that's fine. Um, yeah. 
So, we've spent 20 minutes doing absolutely nothing but reminiscing and talking. Uh, going over previous days and future plans. I really do appreciate you guys joining me for this episode. I spent a lot of time this weekend on the walls, on finishing the actual little uh, parapet things right here. These little walkways. Uh, getting them block measured. This courtyard is the same as this courtyard in terms of how the walls are set up. Um, the trim is the same on all the towers. So these courtyard towers, there's trim right there on the inside towers, but not right here on the outside towers. It's the same way over there. Um, I do not have any trim on any of the big towers. I have all the trim in all the sides on the inside normal towers. And in general, it's been very, very fun. So... Can't wait. Yeah, see, I want to do a little walkway. Path stones right here. They could do one off that way. Do a line that hits here, but then it also branches off over to here. Da -da -da -da. I want to link all these little doors up. Thinking a garden right here, a little small one. And uh, pathway ends in that. And then back here, I'm actually considering putting a little bit of a raised area maybe a little bit of a fence with some steps up into it and do some mock uh, gravestones like a small graveyard for the actual castle itself I think that could be really really cool um yeah I've got plans anyway yeah I'm going to continue doing some work. I'll see you guys on the Wednesday episode of Vagram's Chance. I really do hope you like the progress that is happening. I like that you... I hope that you like the vision that I've actually got. And I can't wait to hear more from you guys on the whole situation. Until then, I will talk to you later. Try and have a good day. Bye-bye.